Flash warning. Welcome to Spellbook Demon Slayers, where we are playing the Spellbook and not the team, uh, not the Demon Slayer. <laughs> Today will be a little bit different. So some people have complained that I don't read stuff properly, etc. And I usually rush through a little bit in reviews or when I do something, you know, to get to the actual juicy stuff. But today I will play as I would play on my own, okay? And you just let me know if you like this more or if this is too boring for you. So, before we do anything else, we have upgrades here, okay? We can see that these are free. They don't say anything else, so we can't assume more. But they are activated, right? As we can see. So we have more... Uh, we have, when the HP becomes low, spawn a healing shrine and gain brief invincibility. Very good to know. And while above 1 HP, survive lethal damage with 1 HP. So there's a thing that is a little bit confusing to me here. Because this one says it's a second chance, but it has a cooldown of 3 seconds. So it almost feels like you can just do this again and again and again. As long as you recover 1 HP. Aha, interesting. Begin the game, this is Tammy, the first book that we have, and we get a crit chance with the starting bonus. The skill, the starting skill is Dynamo, shoot piercing electric orbs to your sides, strikes with lightning on critical hits, ooh, I like that a lot, gifts of the cosmos, passive ability, spawn a cosmic shrine every three levels, heavily buffing you, your most recent buff never expires. Oh my god, okay. So this is the demo stage. Uh, keep in mind this is a demo, you know, so what you see will be limited and there will probably be a lot of changes. Uh, this one here, standard enemy defense 100%, rest is just basic. And we can adjust the difficulty here. I, I don't think I will touch that too much. Oh, I actually have to pay for them. Oh, that's... Interesting, I like that. And over here we have library courtyard upgrades. These are just, yeah, okay, ranks. I think we can go through them when we unlock them and get some bonuses, I would assume. But for now, I would just say, let's play. Defend the courtyard or the courtyard. No, courtyard. What? Did I say courtyard? <laughs> Courtyard. A demon invasion is approaching. Slaughter them with the Cosmic Library's finest magic. As a Cosmic Shrine just ahead, stand near to gain temporary bonus. If you kill enough demons while close to it... Uh, okay, um, um, it just started. So we shoot out and we have to kill the enemies close to this. First of all, I notice the sign of enemies. Second of all, I really like them. They look so goofy. Okay, so we have to kill 15 enemies, then we get the buff. We have an indicator where we are looking right now. That is nice. Um, I kind of want to check out how much damage I take, but I also don't want to check out how much damage I take because that means I take damage. Was I too slow? I didn't kill 15 enemies, right? Close to it. Ah, whatever. We have Tornado, piercing tornado that shoots deadly tennis balls at the speed of a bullet. Okay. Base range up by 20%, that's for our base weapon. Hurl an aimed fireball that creates burning grounds as it travels and whenever it hits a demon. Nice. Blood Blitz. Expels damaging blood nearby. Extra projectiles also add repeat casts. Base damage is increased by regeneration. Oh my god, that sounds very good. I will go for the Blood Blitz. I mean, uh, uh, look at this. This is amazing, isn't it? And I think I have bonus regeneration right now. Yeah, and there's a shrine again. Okay, very good. Let's just do this. And every three levels, I think we get one of them, if I'm not mistaken. Or some sort of shrine, at least. So there's a level up. We can either upgrade the Blood Blitz or this time the Dynamo with the 0 0.2 seconds, that sounds good. Oh my god. You gotta know one thing about me. I love RimWorld. And if you know RimWorld, then you know why I love this. Regenerate HP over seconds. Let's go. Okay. So, where is it? We gained 20% uh, critical chance. Wow. And some damage. And again, I think? Yeah, we got it twice. I think we got it twice there, so... There we go. But I really love that. Oh, that is an elite. Okay, let's kill him. I don't know if the aura does something. I'm not really doing a lot of damage to him, I gotta say. But we have a very, very nice spread of damage. We have the one that goes out diagonally. We have the one that goes out horizontally. And we have the one that just splashes around, you know. Uh, level 4, we have Cremation. Demons have 50% chance to explode on death. That sounds good, but I usually don't like them. Critical chance, projectile speed and range, but... Oh, negative 1 armor. Or we could just go for more crit chance. That sounds so much better. Projectiles chain off one more demon. Dem oh, okay. I... 
don't know if this would be good. It sounds very good because that's duplicator but with a twist. And this is one thing that I really love about the game. You don't get one upgrade, okay? You don't get crit chance, but you get crit chance. This, oh, but you lose armor. Uh, for now, I will go for crit. That sounds very good, you know. We already had crit. Let me check out if the stats are somewhere listed. They are. Ooh, crit chance. 51 per... Okay, because we have plus 40%, I think. Right? Or something like this. Uh, only plus 20%. One of the auras is gone. I would like to touch someone just to see how much damage I take, but I feel like I don't want that. Spell power increased. Okay. Uh, thank you. There we go. Let me get through here. So, the first thing that I noticed is the hitboxes seem to be good. Let me actually limit test this, okay? Um, let me go. Wow. I didn't get... Oh, not even there? That is... Someone did a lot of testing with the hitboxes, I gotta say. Uh, shred demons behind you with a shotgun <laughs> blast of dust. Hailstorm. Rain piercing hell from above. 35% chance for a freeze. That sounds very good with our build. But I think for now I will focus on individual weapons. In some games you just want to have as many weapons as possible. In other games you want to just focus on individual weapons and make them very powerful. Now the problem is I don't know which weapon is good and which weapon is bad. But you know having two projectiles sounds very good. And it feels like the scythe, yeah, it only hits one enemy, so there's no penetration. Meaning if we get the increase in projectiles again that we saw, with the little bit of loss and damage, you know, that could be good. The trailblaze, critical damage could also be good. The question is, I think I will take the lethality aura. Like, I don't know if there's some form of limit to it. Oh my god. I just love the suck-in effect. I'm always a huge fan of this, and I say this in all these games. You need one of these suck-in effects, because otherwise, it just doesn't feel good. You don't have to do it, okay? Because you can make a more complicated game where you have to collect everything, and if you don't get it, then, huh, yeah, <laughs> bad luck, you know? But I think it's very good. Rotating Molten Lead, Kill Demons Explode, dealing 20% of the max HP as damage. Explosions can trigger weaker secondary explosions. Ah... <sighs> The only reason why I don't want to take that is, if I take this, then we don't see anything else. But I think I will definitely pick that one up later on, if it shows up again. And we can see a timer at the top here, meaning we know when this game will end. Okay, so I have an upgrade there. I sadly missed what it does. I'm sure it's something like uh, faster bullet speed, maybe, and faster range. Uh, uh, further range. Okay. There's another boss, I assume, because it's moving. Wealthy. Does this mean we get more out of this guy? I think the last one gave haste. Uh, lightning crawlers, fire crawling sparks that draw... Oh my god, summon a magic shield that circles you shooting bullets when it hits a demon. Okay, this is like... I mean... Oh, I, I'll go for it, there we go. I love these weapons that just shoot to a targeted enemy. Because right now we have everything set to specific enemies. And if you think about it, horizontally, diagonally, sploosh around us, and now targeted at one enemy. That sounds very good. Or targeted multiples? Yeah, those are multiples. I think we have a very good mix here. Well, for someone who knows nothing about the game, it's a good mix, you know. Temporary gain, 10% more experience, and picked up all gem sets because we killed him. Pierce one more demon with the organ harvest. That is actually good. Chains off one more demon. I think I'll go for the pierce for now. And more damage to our dynamo. Didn't we get this already? Didn't we already go from 10 to 15 previously? I thought we did. Maybe it was another spell, or... Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, but there we get it. Uh, this was the shrine. We have it twice now. It didn't soak in everything, I think. Or maybe it did. But at least we get a 20% experience boost right now, right? Uh, where's experience boost? There it is. 20%. Yes, Dex understood something. Here we have auras and effects. Activates when aura reaches level 4. That's an evolution! Oh my god. Wait, can I evolve my weapons as well? Well, the other ones evolve at 4, so I will bring a weapon up to 4, but I will definitely upgrade the auras then. Okay. The map is limited, I like that. I don't mind if a web is infinite, but I think it's a lot more fun if you can't move everywhere, but you have enough space to move around, you know. So, a mix of both worlds. Kills needed, there we go. More experience yet again. And... Oh... So, what are these arrows? Is this just additional information, I assume? 
Oh my god, critical strikes instantly kill enemies if I get this up. Uh, for now, I will go for organ harvest, but I think I will focus on the auras a bit. They seem to be really good. Pierce Shrine, Smuggler Shrine, maybe more gold. Ooh, that was close. Sadly, uh, luckily didn't get hit. <laughs> I said sadly. <laughs> but there we have it. One more Pierce and that is very good. Uh, forbidden Technique, Critical Damage. Oh, that is interesting. We have 31% crit chance. Is that worth it? I don't think it is right now. Demons I always have negative 3 armor. You always have negative 3 armor. Doubles the amount of elite demons with stealable buffs. Oh, those are illegal upgrades. Wait, those are unique. And this one would just replace the lowest level spell that we have? Yeah, I don't do that. Okay, so... I could also ignore this. Hmm, but I think I actually want that. But which one do I want? So I sadly can't read through my abilities. I think we had something where if we crit, we heal. So I kind of don't want to have this. But I want to have Forbidden Technique, I assume. Maybe Grimro. This one sounds really good. But I can't evaluate this, so I will just go for Forbidden Technique. That one is very easy to understand and evaluate. Did we just get two upgrades at once? Pierce two more demons, base range up. Oh my god, these up... Wait, do I have to choose one? I don't think I had to choose one. I think I got both of them. Hopefully. Uh, five and four. Yeah, I got both of them. Okay. So now our spiral is insane. I sadly can't check out the names, you know. Oh, yeah, I can. Organ Harvest. Yeah, our Organ Harvest is insane. <laughs> This is also what usually happens in RimWorld, you know? When you're no longer sad that you get raided or anxious that you might die and instead you know, oh nice, I can send a bunch of organs to people and become rich, you know? Uh, the critical chance is, wow, that is, oh, these are both very good. I think I will take, oh, but this is also very good. Protect has pierce one more demon. That sounds so good. All three of these sound incredibly good. I will take them, and only with the logic that maybe we can only have a limited amount of these auras, and I don't want to be forced into one, and instead just take it right away, and then afterwards I will focus on the crit chance. So if we get the piercing again, I may take it, but right now our organ harvesting, for example, penetrates all the enemies easily, so we don't really need it just by the natural upgrades it has. Maybe it's not that dead great then, you know. Okay, be careful. Haven't taken damage so far, I think, so I don't know how strong the enemies are when they tickle you. Ooh, careful. Definitely, what, what I love about the game, as I said, are the auras. They are unique, they are different, they do more than just one thing. But I gotta say, the weapons are also very interesting. They don't feel too bloated, you know? But they still do something amazing. They are not basic, and I like that. That they are special. Uh, okay, so how about I kill this dude because I want to have the buff that he has Careful ah, He is dead nice give me the chest. Okay level up first chains off one more enemy I don't care evolve organ harvest. Oh my god. We can actually evolve it now I don't know if this was because it's five. I assume so creates bloody burning ground on kill Which improves with regeneration, which I don't really have eh, okay, there we go and Blood Blitz is to level 3. Yeah, it's not a 5, you know, but it's fine. And there we go. So the, whenever we kill, we burn the ground now with the Organ Harvest. Sounds very good. Ooh, these enemies are quite tanky though. I have to leave that shrine. Yeah. Well, actually... Oh, no, no, hurry up. There we go. Okay. Picked up everything. Very good. I think the Organ Harvest is amazing. But for this, I have to see more weapons than just the Organ Harvest to see what it does. Okay, the worms are a little bit too much, maybe. Ooh, I got hit. Oh, that is a lot. How much do I heal, though? So I think every time I crit, I increase my healing, right? Ooh, careful. Yeah, this is dangerous now. I've fallen behind. That means either something was wrong or you would actually need the upgrades. So we have extended buffs. I don't care. Demons, I don't care. I will go for the crit chance here. For our build, I think this is very important since we rely a lot on crit. We even lowered our damage for more crit damage, so that's important that I get more crits. Um, yeah, this is a bit... It's a bit... Uh, I, I don't know about this one here. There's another boss. I have a bad feeling about this one. It might be too difficult to stay close to him and kill him. I will keep my distance. He's also very fast, you know. If I get surrounded, then I think he will just touch me and kill me. 
We have five minutes left, so we are doing fine. But there we go. Okay, how do I do this? I did something wrong, I feel like. Okay, but at least he has the suck experience that I get everything, so I don't have to be concerned that I run around. He will just give me all the experience that was created while I was running away. Okay, careful. Uh, there we go. Okay. Maybe I should focus on him a little bit more. Yeah, the enemies are all stuck down here, so I can freely walk up to here. That means I can focus on the boss since nothing is in my way. Well, nothing is in my way. Nothing is... There we go. Get all the experience and base damage. Okay, how many times will you go up from the base damage? Is this like per sap or something? Because this is the fourth time or so that I read base damage up from 15 to 20, right? I'm not going insane. Or am I? Actually, I'll take that back. It probably went up and for some reason I imagine it's 15 to 20 every single time. But there we go. We have a level up. Madam Death, base damage up from 7 to 11. Oh my god. Evolve Dynamo, projectile size is affected by critical chance. Dude, perfect. Let's go for it. That's why we go for crit chance. Okay, there's another boss and another level up. Ooh, base damage up from 20, pierces two more demons. Experience gain, pick up, uh, I think we scale with regeneration, right? Regenerate 30 HP over the next 30 seconds. Yeah, okay, this is really difficult. All of these are so good. I will keep focusing on crit chance. I think it's the best one overall for us right now, but maybe it's not, you know. So, there's another boss. Ah, uh, what was this effect here? I think it was a decent one, but nothing that is too crazy. I think the 20% crit, right? No. Oh, let's see what it is once we kill him. Okay, these enemies are quite tanky. I definitely have to upgrade more of my weapons. I mean, I did say I have to upgrade my weapons and I went for crit chance, but crit chance upgrades all of my weapons because they crit more often. And one of the worst things that you can have in games is just a low amount of crit that sometimes kills the enemies and sometimes doesn't. Like, if you just need a power boost to kill strong enemies, it's more than enough. But if you need a reliable one, it's really bad. Temporarily gained... Uh, yeah, I don't know what that did, sorry. Overload level 7 and blood blitz, perfect. Um, temporarily gained 20% crit chance. It was crit chance. Good job, Dex. Base damage up, this is so good. 5% uh, chance to freeze. On hit, that is good. Retaliate against all demons for 50% of damage taken. No, 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 no. We go for, Ill that is a 50% damage boost. Like, I have to. I have to. Okay, there we go. And there's another shrine. Again? One of these? Okay. I mean, sh I don't mind. That is another crit. We have plus 60% crit right now. <laughs> 170%. Okay, that's a little bit crazy, you know. Oh, the smuggler has appeared and we got an illegal upgrade yet again. So I can again go for negative damage and more crit damage. I'm honestly not sure if that's good. More regeneration could be fun. But I think I will just stick to the forbidden technique. Uh, this is actually a very, very bad thing that I'm doing. Without 100% crit, going for so much negative damage is really bad. But, that's why I will take every single critical strike chance that we see. Oh, I just have to get this chest over here, because these upgrades are very valuable. Fire Swarm Projectile, base damage up from 25 to 30, so this was definitely an increase. I can confirm that. It's probably just me seeing similar numbers all the time, and that's why I thought they were duplicates. Okay, can I maybe kill the boss here, though? That would be amazing. We have only three more minutes to go. Would be amazing to win the first run right away. Repeats one more time, pierces one more uh, demon. That is actually... Wait, that is really good. Yeah, look at this. We throw so many uh, um, organ harvests now. Base damage up from 8 to 10. Uh, it's fine. You know, it's also cooldown reduction. And soon we can evolve it. But I feel like if I don't focus heavily on damage right now, I will get overrun very, very soon. We do have a lot of weapons that are close by, that affect the enemies once they are close. So, while it looks like I'm getting cornered sometimes, I'm still free. But, oh uh, yeah, with enemies like these, if I don't manage to kill them right away, I think I have a very big problem. Or do I? Well, it looks fine. An ammo piercer could be good here. Right? If someone has ammo, then it's definitely the ghosty boys, because that makes sense. Have you never seen a ghost wearing a full armor? Yeah. A knight armor. There we go, careful. Man, these guys are something else. 
uh, the, the thing is, I never know if they will die when I attack or not, because some of them will die, some of them won't. That's down to my crit chance, you know. Let me get a little bit more crit chance, maybe. As soon as I can. Oh, remember when I upgrade the crit chance and it executes the enemies at 20% HP. Which is amazing, since we have, like, sometimes we crit, sometimes we don't. Then we don't need to multi-crit. Probably just one is enough with the bonus damage. Okay, let me upgrade the... Oh. Yeah, okay, Lethality, there we go. Chains off one more demon, that's fine. Nice. And another boss. Maybe I should have just doubled the bosses now that I think about it. Because they also give chests, I think. And chests are very valuable. Um, um, um. Okay, I don't like this. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, help, help. <laughs> ah, I need some salt for the eyes. I don't know why I thought about salt and not anything else that would harm them. Ooh, okay, okay, chest. Yeah, I definitely need to double them if I play again. Double the chest is so many upgrades that you get for free. So this one is the seven person chance to crit, but negative one armor. I honestly like that one. I think, yeah, I would go for that. Because more range also means I hit the enemies further away and it's easier to deal with them. But mainly, our blood. Okay. Our blood is now going crazy. Well, it's, it's not crazy. It was a 15% increase, right? Or something like that. But it's it's decent. Did we already do that? Gained an extra revive. I have revivals? Oh. I have a revive now. Nice. What do we have here? Base damage up. I don't care too much about that damage. Movement speed, I don't care. Strike with plus one lightning bolt every three seconds. Affected by car speed. 30% of crit chances apply to all lightning bolts. Um, what? That's just a, like, this is what I mean. This is amazing. That's a casual aura. You ju just go for lightning bolts here. Yeah, there you go. J j just take lightning bolts as an aura. It's not a weapon that you upgrade. It's just lightning bolts. Okay, sh sure. Ooh, Horde Summoner. Okay, um, how do I deal with you? Do we only have one minute to kill him? And if you don't kill him, then you just get nothing. Or maybe no special reward. Okay, we have to focus on this dude somehow. Without dying, preferably. Critical chance increased by 1% per second to max. Oh my god. This is also just a casual crit upgrade. Man, this is so amazing. I mean, it, it sucks that I get it now. Where I have to fight this dude and run away and the enemies are super tanky. Having this earlier would have given... Yeah, like... Oh, I didn't get hit. Never mind. I was about to complain. It's all good. No, like, getting it this earlier would have been better, but that's down to me, right? I didn't feel really, uh, really upgraded. Oh, this will be so close to do this. I don't think we can do this. I have to hit him all with the spirals while not getting hit. If I get hit, I lose crit chance. And we right now have 89%. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on. Horde Summoner. N eight seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We got the flower by killing him, I think. Astral Flower obtained, yeah. I think if we wouldn't have killed him, then we wouldn't have gotten the flower. What? The Demonic Legion has reached a barrier. The Butcher approaches. The Cosmos shall aid you. What? You will be invincible. Press any button to unleash the library's cosmic ref. You will be invincible for 13 seconds. Okay. Gotta be honest, this is not what I expected. Strike with plus one lightning bolt every three seconds. This is the same one that we already had. So I think I will just go with it again. I like that. That sounds funky. Blood barrage. A wolf blood blitz. Demons killed by the spell explode in blood. We are fighting a boss, so this might be entirely useless. But I will go for it. There we go. Oh no, never mind, there are a ton of enemies around, okay. Diamond Overcast, I like this a lot. So, I will go for it again. I'm always a sucker for lightning strikes. This has nothing to do with me thinking it's good or bad. I, I just really love them. Oh my god, we have so many blobbles going around. Do you see that? How many auras do we have? What? What is even... Wait, is this just an infinite mode? By any chance? Because there's a clock that is just going up. I really hope this is an infinite mode. That would be so insane. I really love infinite mode since... Well, as long as you can die there, right? Like, not to a point where you just never can die, but where the enemies get stronger, but you can still play the game and finish it on your own pace. Uh, projectiles chain off one more demon. That is the one that I wanted, so I will take it. Maybe the freeze would have been better to guarantee that I survive, but I mean, like, come on. We are melting them now. 
Oh my god, what is our crit? Yeah, 89%. And there we go. And I still level up, right? Yeah, I do. We have a healing shrine here. I don't need that. <gasps> crit shrine. Crit shrine. That is 100% crit yet again. Yeah, we only need one of these crit thingies to get 100% crit. That is crazy. I definitely did something right. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I think I did something right. Or, you know, the first stage is just very easy, but let's let's pretend that's not the case. Uh, let's go for 25% bonus damage. Since we are negative right now, the value of that is incredible. Uh, let me check. Yeah, negative 5%. It was at negative 30. So it also just scales right away. It's not on top of what you currently have. Like, we had 70%, uh, right? So it, plus 25% could have also been 25% of 70%. That would have been a lot worse. And how am I killing so many enemies? Whenever there's a shrine with, like, number 70, I'm like, oh, that will never happen. And, oh, yep, yeah, okay, just, just happened right away. Uh, lightning crawlers. I want to evolve that one to see what it does. Because they are amazing. I love them. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, not that confident anymore. Still relatively confident, you know. But not that, that confident. But back to 100% crit. Yeah, this melts the bosses. But they didn't give any chests, right? Remember how I said I want to use the doubling to get the chests? I think there were two different enemies. One are the bosses and the other ones are just bonuses or so. So here... Do I want to go for this one? I really don't like reducing this right now. I will go for the Glarevoyance. I should have taken this way, way earlier for its benefit. But hey, like, better late than never, right? Well, that's not always true, actually. Most of the times you don't want it anymore then. Smuggler has appeared. Okay, uh, what do you have here? Spawn a treasure chest and cosmic shrine. That is bad, right? That is really bad. Rotating acid spray, kill demons, explode, dealing 20% of the max HP. Demons hit by acid explosion lose one armor, stacking infinitely. I mean, if I hear infinitely. Uh, this is bad. Well, this could be good, but I will go for infinitely. This will allow me to melt demons, right? Uh, bosses, right? Unless they don't count as demons. Like, demons could be the name of the minions, and bosses are bosses. They are something else. I'm not saying that's the case, I'm just saying they could be. Uh, Pierce one more demon, I don't care. Nightshade is definitely... Uh, are you sure about my crit chance right now? And my crit damage? <laughs> are you sure I have 1677%? And wherever this number is coming from? I don't think that's... Uh... Oh, okay, apparently I have the buffs here. Okay, now it's back to 86%. Wait, how is it even 86%? I... I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'll just accept it. It's more than fine. How much do I have now? Oh, I have 128% point five three zero zero five one. Oh, That's a little bit weird. I just lost my crit because I didn't pay attention. That's not good. Because this takes quite some time to build up. Ooh, okay, I'm losing my crit more often. This is really not good. Um, what is the problem? They are too tanky damage. Is piercing needed? I don't think piercing is a problem. Piercing could be the problem, but I didn't upgrade my weapons in a long time. Blood barrage could be good. Re okay, repeats one more time. One more projectile will be good, I think. Maybe I just have... No, I'm dead. I don't think I will continue here. Yeah, this is over. Okay, that was that was clutch, but I don't think that saved me, <laughs> I gotta be honest. Yeah. Especially after I lost my bonus crit chance, and that was 25%, that is so much. Okay. As long as I crit, I heal a ton of HP. So losing the negative one armor actually matters now. Ooh. But it would have been boring if I would have continued this forever, right? So I'm fine with it. Ooh. Okay, heal up more, heal up more book. I believe in you. Kill the boss. Get the bonuses. I need something really good here. Okay, let's think about this logically. This is a 30% damage increase, but only on barrage, right? So it's only on one weapon. This is a 5% car speed increase on everything. And also gives me movement speed. While I do believe that this one would be solid, I think in the long run, this car speed would be better. I'm more concerned that we don't hit exactly when it's needed. Okay, we killed one of the guys, we got a buff, very good. Ooh, okay, let's get the other buff, we got it. And now I'm just stuck. I'm not gonna make the choke. Uh, let's hope for the best here. How much crit do we have? 117%, very good. We will get another crit. Very nice, okay. Oh, I think we survived that. Chain? Chain could be good. 
A critical chance of all spells is rolled one more time, keeping the battery. Well, I don't need that, right? Like, I have all the crit that I need. I have more than 100%, unless I get hit. Yeah, unless I get hit. Um, but I think I would go for the this one. The reason why I'm so hesitating with it is... If it doesn't really bounce, or, you know, because if it already went to the max distance, then I get nothing out of it, except for losing damage. Okay, but I got haste here. This is where I get stuck, again. Ooh, heal more. Dude, my healing is crazy. I actually want to have more armor now. Imagine I wouldn't have lost the armor because of the upgrades, but I think those were good upgrades, right? I don't remember what it was that reduced armor, but I think it was good. Spells fire one more projectile, projectile speed and range, negative 7... Wait, that is amazing. Wait, that is amazing. I don't see the downside. Well, unless you already fired 20 projectiles and going to 21 is not really worth it. But it doesn't look like that. Wait, and I can even upgrade this. That was so stupid, Dex. You just suicided because of one upgrade. Well, it's not even an upgrade, it's a buff. Okay, Smuggler Shrine. Uh, that is That is illegal treasure. Yes. Okay, what do I need here? Summon seven cosmic shrines, but those are temporary buffs, correct? So, while great, they don't help me in the long run. This one here seems to be by far the best one. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, did I just walk into something that kills me? I think I did. Ooh, I need crit chance, mainly. Because I keep getting hit now, and it constantly disables my buff that I have. Um, yeah, but do you see how big the map is like how long I've been walking around here? It is a fairly big map, but you can't just keep walking and that was it. I mean Look for the first run. I think that was good The invasion has been halted in the library's barriers restored the memory of your glorious triumph over the demonic scum Shall be transcribed for all eternity ever fortifying our Nirvana as for flowers earned five nice New character unlocked, Sperry, Spear, 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 yeah, likes to get straight to the point, victory, oh, I like that. So maybe the next time we will continue, I will see what you guys say, but there's Barry, and I had a ton of fun. This game is honestly a blast, and I would love to see what it changes in the future and what it adds. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you the next time.